Tonight, a group in Omaha is taking action to help the tens of thousands of undocumented children at the border. Senior reporter Jake Wasikowski joins us live from South Omaha with this story. Jake? Yeah, Jen, we're outside the warehouse where a local advocate is collecting donations to send to the women and children who are detained crossing U.S. borders. Now, he says it's time to put those political feelings aside. There's women and children suffering. And Lisa McHugh, a mother and substitute teacher, lives in West O and hasn't made a trip to Crossroads in a while. But this trip was special to her. She wanted to donate clothes and toiletries to help the hordes of undocumented women and children thousands of miles away. I think um, we just need to think how we would feel if that was us in that situation. And some of these kids have been exploited and it's no fault of their own that they are where they are right now. And let's just get together and try to help them. And Ben Salazar takes the donations with a smile. Oh, you need a bag? Do you need a nope. bag? It's estimated 90,000 immigrant children will cross the U.S.-Mexican border in 2014. Salazar, who works with La Casa del Pueblo, is accepting donations of clothes for women and children, shoes, toys, and hygiene products that will be taken down to Texas. In just about a day, he's received 600 to 700 items that will help detained immigrants. This is people help, helping people. This is self-help. This is not government. You know it hits their heart. It hits home. To imagine a 10-year-old, a 12-year-old. Traveling alone, uh, having to leave home under uh, dire circumstances. Along with collecting items, he's in the process of getting a U-Haul to take them to El Paso. They'll take anything that parents think these children would need in a dire and urgent situation. Politics aside, we can all contribute to the well-being of a child or a mother in distress. We can do that. You know, that that's not very complicated. Now, Salazar is also hanging up these Spanish language flyers in South Omaha, hopefully getting the community, the Latino community, to come out and help. Now, if you'd like to get in touch and make a donation, we have his contact information on our website at KMTV.com. Reporting live near 25th and Y in South Omaha, Jake Wasikowski, KMTV Action 3 News.